folks, how are you? Hey. How you doing? Hey. You know, the funny thing is, like, I knew about Inch You Deep, and I just remembered about Alfie, <laughs> you know. Uh, so before I talk about, obviously, working together again, what's the first thing for each of you that comes through your mind when you see an old acquaintance that you haven't seen in years? <laughs> the first thing that comes to mind? Yeah. And, they're, and you know, and, and they're of the opposite sex or the same sex, and they look good. <laughs> well, that is private. Those are private inner thoughts. Remember, you know, on Saturday Night Live when they used to do those inner thoughts. Um, <laughs> you know, we preserve very well black folks. So when I usually see an ex, I, I'm, I'm usually the first thing I say is, oh, wow, he's taking care of himself. He's preserving himself. Look at his beautiful family. I don't I don't have bad breakups like I, I can honestly say, like, I'm friends with the people that I've dated in the past. Mm -hmm. Omar? I'm married, so. <laughs> All right. So, you know, so now, obviously, this is the third project that most people can think of that you guys are working together again. So when you got this script and you guys know and you knew you were working with each other, what was that feeling like as far as saying yes to the script? Um, very exciting. I, you know, I think Omar and I work really well together. We've got great chemistry. We, we grew up in this industry together. We're nineties, you know, we are part of the nineties culture creators and we have, um, thankfully been able to sustain, you know, long, beautiful careers. And, and it's, 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 it's to accomplish that is, is something that, it took me a long time to be able to say, wow, this is pretty amazing because we're always focused on the the doing and the getting. But sometimes you have to sit back and say, I've really accomplished something that I think has helped to push our culture forward. And I'm thankful for those opportunities. And I'm even more thankful for the fan base who continues to support us and who um is always there, you know, even if I don't know them, I feel them on social media. I, I know like they're there. So this is, this is a, a, a an homage to, you know, the nineties and to our loyal fan base and, you know, to my friendship with Omar. Uh -huh. Omar. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's, um, it's amazing what we've been able to accomplish and, and, and we both, we walk, in constant gratitude. Um, so as Nia said, you know, this is an homage to, 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 to our time period, but it's also an homage with a twist because you've never seen us in this type of dynamic. So this is definitely one of those films, uh, people gonna be yelling at the TV screen. <laughs> <laughs> For sure. <laughs> you know, at the end of the day, obviously, you know, uh, what separates this from other films that are similar to this? There's a formula to a psychological thriller. There has to be a couple of things. There's usually a love triangle. There's usually one person who's a bit delusional and then, and somebody usually dies. I mean, that's just sort of how it works. And so how is, is different from, from film to film and project to project and actor to actor. But I think you expect those things and that is why this genre pulls you in because you know that certain things are going to happen but the journey and the and the um storytelling getting there is is a little bit different from each film well folks obviously fans are going to be getting a trip when they watch this come friday uh stay safe and at some point maybe one day we'll see each other again have a yes, good and it's Thursday, Thank not you. Friday. Thursday. Okay. <laughs> Have a good one, folks. Thank you. You Take too. Take care.